We're talking about knowledge of the future in movies. In this clip, I'll share an item from Spellcaster. This is a movie from 1988. Romantic comedy with Gail O'Grady, Bunny Bailey, Harold Pruitt, Adam Ant. Present in this film appears to be a many references to rock and roll musician Elvis Presley. And beyond that, I think that in Spellcaster you will see some hinting at events uh, close to the present time period. And I'm recording this in 2022, it's June 1st. If you were around in 1988, and when this was produced, what's shown here is uh, somewhat unusual. Uh, because this is a glimpse into uh, the dominant force in television in the last 20 years. And that's uh, this concept of reality-based uh, programming. Musician Adam Ant, he was in another movie uh, that may have some type of hintings of a reality celebrity um and maybe even um, internet celebrities. This would be um, Love Bites, 1993. All right, so in the plot of Spellcaster, the characters, they are on a treasure hunt in a castle. But yeah, there's this idea that um, there's something in this movie that is hidden and um, something that you should be on the lookout for. Another thing that was going on in 2019 is uh, you had the production of director Dennis Villeneuve's remake of Frank Herbert's science fiction novel Dune. Yeah, Baz Luhrmann's Elvis movie, uh, which is due out in a couple of weeks. This was also in production at this time. Actor Austin Butler, who plays Elvis Presley in this new Elvis movie, he will be in the Dune sequel. And this film is scheduled to be released in 2023, October. Alright, so in Spellcaster, I believe that I have found a reference that connects Elvis Presley and Dune. This may be the real object in this castle, in this film, uh, that you're supposed to be looking for. You'll notice that throughout the film, a number of the characters that will stand next to a lamppost. And at the end of this movie, Gail O'Grady's character, she finds this secret room where Adam Ant, also known as Diablo, has been watching and manipulating uh, the situation and people involved in this um, scavenger hunt uh, throughout the course of the movie. So take a good look at some of the props in this room. One item in this room, it appears to be a statue of an aquatic uh, humanoid or creature. This brings up uh, one connection to the two new Dune films and uh, this is the fact that uh, actor Jason Momoa who is Aquaman plays Duncan Idaho in Dune and the same part was played by actor Richard Jordan in the 1984 version of Dune Richard Jordan was also in Logan's Run in 1976 and I did some other videos on Logan's Run there are apparently Elvis references and I recognize this item the 1984 David Lynch version of Dune and this is an item that I think is also described in the Frank Herbert novels it's a type of hovering room lighting and uh, in Dune, it looks like a lamp or like an electric uh, light source with wings. And the name of this, I believe, is 
a glow globe. But yeah, you can see the object in Spellcaster and almost the exact same item can be seen in uh, several scenes of Dune, 1984. Now, I think this is in the new version of Dune also, but maybe it looks different. All right, connections to Elvis Presley. Uh, of course, uh, Austin Butler is one. And yeah, I think another major Elvis link, this would be actress Gail O'Grady. And to me, in many scenes, she looks like actress Gina Davis. But I think that she may bear a resemblance to Priscilla Presley, uh, who was married to Elvis uh, for several years, uh, as well as Elvis himself, and maybe Austin Butler as well. And I've done some other videos on Spellcaster. Actor Harold Pruitt in this film, I think he looks like the character Ken from the Capcom arcade video game Street Fighter 2 and this would have been uh, from the early 90s yeah look at the uh, aesthetic appearance of VJ character Richard Blade and yeah I think on one level he may look like actor Mel Gibson known for the films uh, Mad Max in the early 80s. Street Fighter 2, this is like one of the first big um, fighting games. Maxi is a character in another fighting game series, and this would be Soul Calibur. This was released in 1998. And I think the character Maxi, he also resembles Elvis Presley. My YouTube channel is Easter Egg Psychic, and there I go back and look at movies and television from the past, analyze these for possible references to the future. These may appear in the form of anagrams, idioms, anecdotes, hidden in the work in question. Also use an unconventional method where I look at the likenesses of the actors. And what I found is you can match up the likenesses to some of these anecdotal references and sometimes show past, present, and future information about personalities who may resemble the personalities in the movie that you're watching. If you like my videos, you can contact me. My email address is Easter Egg Guy, that's G U Y, at yahoo.com, YouTube channel, Easter Egg Psychic, and thanks for watching.